There's a guy, there's a guy who likes games, who likes games and, the best and the best that he's played, that he's played are, the ones are the ones that you'll see, that you'll see on the top, on the top 100. Don't repeat that part. Top 100 games. games. Hello and welcome to the Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that deeply regrets making fun of that smelly kid in elementary school. But James, we're glad you're doing well right now. Uh, so I am Cody, and with me are my good friends Sean and Justin. Sean and Justin, and we are going to do. This is actually the final uh, episode of my uh, top 100 games of all time, and I asked them to share their top 10 games as well. So we're just going to jump right into it. This is our uh, numbers 10. Pardon me. My no yeah, our numbers 10 through 1 is what we're doing today. All right, so why don't we go ahead and, uh, Sean, why don't you start? What is your number 10 game? My top, my number 10, yep. working backwards, is my least favorite of the list, is DC Legends. DC Legends. What is DC Legends? Is that, did I say that wrong? The DC card the game. Marvel Legendary. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the DC version. The DC, there's the DC deck building game and the That's Marvel the Legendary. So DC deck building DC deck That's your game. least favorite? Well, of these ten, so I mean, right. it's like one of my top ten favorite <laughs> games, I, and I like it. I like it because it's really it's, it's repetitive, which is why I don't put it lower on the list. Right. But it's a game that I, I was able to teach my six year old daughter to play, uh -huh. and my twelve year old son, and we've played it probably. Dozens and it's a of fun. Times. It's a quick game. But I mean, what you simple. think? You think it should be higher on his list? Is well, what you're saying? Oh yeah, get me while I've got a mouthful. <laughs> This is, what, this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. trying to eat. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I don't eat. care about this. <laughs> I guess what we're doing. Um, no, I think uh, I actually like DC a lot. I actually like it a little bit better than the Marvel really? version. Yeah, because it's there's well, Marvel's not even on my list. Oh well, 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 there, there you, you go. go. At least DC's on the list. I like it because it's got um, it's fast paced. There's not a lot of minutia in there. Marvel, you have to kind of. Yeah, you get you have to organize sucked it. into the mechanics yeah. of the game. Where the DC, you can just sit down and play and chat with your friends, and it kind of and plays. And, 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 that's and that's DC, like and DC's portable too. You can take it and True. play it anywhere, right? Right. The yeah. DC game. I like Marvel. You know, when I'm in the mood for it, but when I just want something. I'm quick, only I've only played that one once, so I can't DC. really. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, very good. So uh, that is your number ten. That is a DC Comics deck building game. Uh, Justin, what is your number ten? Well. You know how well I do with homework. I didn't organize mine in any kind of numerical order. So <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just pick one. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll say Eclipse. Eclipse, number 10, really? Well, no, it's, like I said, it's not in any numerical order. I just picked one. Okay. It's a space game. I liked it. It was fun. I liked it. It plays kind of like a PC game where you have a, you know, the different levels of things you assign your... Um, Different the categories. Right. And you played Eclipse. Yeah. You remember Eclipse? Oh, it's been it's a long fun. time since I played Eclipse. Is that the one that has the little cubes? The yeah, little the cubes. cubes. You take that the cubes is, that, is, that is a fun game. Mm -hmm. It's a very fun game. It's yeah, very. It's kind of a Euro in space. It's actually my number 17. <laughs> I've really organized. <laughs> it's good to know we're on, on the same, on same page, page here okay. as, uh, All right. as our games go. Uh -huh. Very good, Eclipse. Okay, so that is your number 10. My number 10 is the sequel to a uh, sequel of sorts, Twilight Aperium. This was the game that in the 1970s was actually based on uh, Frank Herbert's Dune. Um. And this was, uh, the Fantasy, Fantasy Flight couldn't get the license to it, so they redubbed it as Twilight Imperium Rex. Oh, I don't yeah. think either of you have played Twilight Imperium Rex no, yet. But it's a, no, Rex? I haven't. Well, it's, it's Mechatol Rex was from Twilight Imperium, oh, and this you. is just called Rex because it... it, it, it Essentially, it takes place on the world when the empire was falling. But there's alliances, there's betrayal. Um, it, it's it's just a, a super fun game. You can like win dual victories, multiple. You know, you know, with alliance victories and stuff like that. It's a very fun game. So my number ten is Rex. Maybe we should play that sometime. We should. It's so play fun. It. We should play it. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's do uh, now our number nine. Number nine. So I guess if you're just gonna pick one off your list, uh, you should. Before you go any further, you should look through your list and decide what your number one is. <laughs> oh, I, I already got my number. Okay, oh, yeah, all right, all right. right, right. Yeah. So go ahead, go ahead, pick one. We'll call it number nine. Uh, 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 zombie side. Zombie side. Number nine. <laughs> Way down on the list. <laughs> At least it's on my list. At least it's on my. Is list. your number one DC? Is that no? Oh, no. I was gonna say that would be terrible. No. So zombie side's a great game. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. Fun you, team we, uh, cooperative game with scenarios. Is, uh, and you try to kill zombies. Yeah, well, that's always it creates a, creates a real era of suspense. It does. It does. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, really it's, like, it's hardcore. It's a hardcore game, yeah. and it's a lot of fun. It really requires people to be on the same page and cooperate with each other, and that's fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I like that game. That's actually my number 
not to spoil. Well, don't spoil. Why don't you just tell us when it comes up? Okay, my number nine is Frederick. Frederick is um, the uh, game set in the Seven Years' War. Uh, you both played it. It's the one where you play the, the playing cards. They got the oh, different suits. Oh yeah, and that you, is a fun game. And you play to to to. You have to kind of add the suits to your 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 the strength right. of your armies to push your armies back. You remember that you played with Zach. Uh, and depending yeah. on which part of the board barely you're remember on. this yeah. game. Yeah, barely remember. It. But it's it's fun. It's a good fun historical game. I, I I really enjoy it. It's it's just there's not too much to it, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, for for as simple as the the mechanics are, it, it creates a lot of opportunities for some pretty deep strategy. It really does. It really does. Yeah. So that is my number nine, Frederick. What is your number nine? Uh, my number nine <coughs> is. Uh, uh, what do I got? Oh, uh, Mansions of Madness. Mansions of Madness, okay. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's interesting. The, the main reason that it's even on my list, I would say, it's a fun game. It's a fun game, but I think uh, for me, it's the uh, the production that goes into the game. It's got the, some of the coolest figures. The minis are the awesome. It does have really games. cool minis. They yeah. are awesome, and, and you know, the, the, the only... I like that game a lot, but my only real major complaint with that game is just it's just a bear to set up. Because yeah. the guy that's playing the, the, the house, he really has to take his time and set it up. And it's one of those games that's a lot of fun, but, yeah, you know, and it can be a little... Well, and I think it's interesting because, you know, I've, every time I've played it, you've played the house. I so I just we played it once with Jason's The House. Oh, really? Well, every, every time I've been able just to sit down and play it. Okay. And just enjoy okay, it. Okay, yeah, 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 I guess I've so. never played it from that other But the only time I played it, you were The House as well. So. I guess, I, guess um, I think The House is a little overpowered, though, too, in that game. Yeah. I think The I House probably so. does have a little power. Yeah. But it's fun. It's it is just, a fun game. But some of the best, prettiest-looking games, I think. Okay, so uh, Sean's number nine, Mansions of Madness. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, number eight. And let's start with you this time, Justin. All right, picking one from my list. The uh, Betrayal on the House of the Hill. Betrayal on House of the Hill. This is an, it's a lot like Mansions of Madness. Yeah, and, and the, it's, I like the, um, the traitor aspect of it, how during the mid-game someone becomes... Uh, what would you the say enemy, like the an enemy the villain, a villain. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. You're, you end up the other people end up fighting against them and they yeah the first it's, the it's first fun. the first part of, twist in there. the first part of the game is pretty slow and there's not a lot going on and I think I think uh, Quinn's on shut up and sit down said that it's a game that's kind of like a deadbeat dad that neglects you for years but then suddenly comes back with all these toys and stuff to tell you how much he loves you yeah. when that uh, traitor's announced I like I kind of like the exploration Aspect yeah. of the yeah. and searching is yeah. You've got this like finite amount. There is of time tension. Build. There is tension that yeah. builds. I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay, that's great. So that is your number eight. That is uh, um, sure. Yeah, Patrol on House of the Hill. We'll call it number eight. My number eight is Star Trek Attack Wing. Um, this is a miniatures game in which uh, you know, of course, you play the Federation, the Klingons, the Romulans, or the uh, uh, Dominion. There's new factions coming out. Essentially, it's based on the Star Trek X Wing game, but it's it's a miniatures game. A lot of fun. Really enjoy it. You can pick your ships and move your ships around. You know, pick your pick your maneuvers. It's a very simple miniatures game, and I enjoy Star Trek a lot. So a lot yeah. of fun. Star Trek Attack Wing. That is a fun game. It is. It is okay. So let's go ahead and uh, what is your number? Uh, uh, my number eight is. Oh, you know, oh, I screwed up. No, go ahead. Whoop. That was actually my number seven. Oh, that was my number seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. My number eight actually is Conquest of Nerath. Right. Conquest of Nerath, which is. Um, D and D, it's kind of like Axis and Allies set in a D and D universe, and you've got dragons instead of bombers and and, and, and did wizards. I play that one? You did. It's we played fun. it with uh, George and Holly. Yeah. A few weeks ago. Oh, that's right. Well, a few months ago. Yeah, that's right. You have the two people are on a team. Uh, it's cool. Right? Each, each kingdom is kind of a different race. Oh no, no, no. yeah. I only played it the yeah. one time. Yeah. Yeah, and and yeah, it's, it and like it's fun because I, I really like it too because you got the dungeons. You can explore the dungeons. Yeah, those are kids. That's right. Right. That's right. right. Okay, that's right. so that is that is my number eight. Yeah. Uh, D and D Conquest of Nerath. Yep. Uh, okay, what's your number eight? My number eight is uh, let's see. Oh yes, uh, we just barely played it. Uh, and I liked it was Resistance of Avalon. Resistance of Avalon. He just it's played it. It's, it's on your list. It's a great game. It, well, you know, i, I, I got to be honest with you. Any game that uh, creates like a real cutthroat atmosphere right. yeah. immediately goes on my list. Yeah, I yeah, love, those are yeah. my favorite kinds of games. The Hidden Trader games. Hidden Trader yeah. games. Games that cause like lots of antagonism right. and infighting. I love them. I just love yeah. the debating. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, and it's just, a, it was simple, it was small, it was quick. It is, and it's, again, it's portable. You can, you can take that to a restaurant and play it or something yeah. like that. And yeah. it's a, there's a lot of game in the box. So you really have to have people that you're playing with who will Who are willing play. to put yeah. themselves out there. Because it does really require a lot of interaction if you've got oh, yeah. people who don't, 
you know, or aren't into that or just it's don't. It's a great fight to get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. It, it can be really yeah. dull. But. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But with us, we, we all hate each other. <laughs> so it's <laughs> easy. I, yeah. All right, so that, with you anyway. that is your number eight, yes. the Resistance Avalon. Hey, hey, why don't we start with uh, you uh, <laughs> uh, this time? Maybe just... Well, all right. I've already mentioned my number seven, so why don't we go ahead and uh, uh, why don't you go next for your number seven? Okay, my number seven is uh, Fortune and Glory. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a game that uh, I've played dozens of times, and uh, it, it was fun. It's kind of a candy-coated kind of a game. I mean, there's not a lot of depth to it. But it's very entertaining. It it mechanically it's 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 not very spectacular. No, it's not. It's nothing. It's a game it, the thematic. It's about the theme. Yeah, it's a game about the theme. Awesome. And I got to tell you though, because because you and I, I picked up that game a few years ago, and we played it like like two or three times a week for like six months. I mean, we yeah. play that constantly. We played it out exactly. And I got to tell you, we played it. You hadn't played it before, so we played it for the first time a while ago. And for me, it it's its weaknesses really became apparent. Sure. Um, sure. I, I really started to think, you yeah, this isn't. Yeah, but this, you take it back though. When you said we played it two or three times a week for you know six yeah. months, I mean we 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 got you got your money's worth out of that. No, I no, I did. Other, I right? did. I did. I did. But I you know I recently did a video, yeah, where I broke up with it. I don't know if you saw that video. Yes. And and I just kind of felt like eh, the, the villains turns it's, take too long. You, you'd moved on. I had moved on. Very good. Moved on. All right. So uh, that so, is so that is your number seven. My number seven. Fortune of Glory. Okay. Uh, what is your what is the, what are we going to call your number seven? Um. Uh, Twilight Imperium. Twilight uh, Imperium. Why not? All right. What what is it about Twilight Imperium that you? Well, it's fun. It's it's a really long game. Yeah, and it you is. have to be committed to play it, but it's. It's got some great um, mechanics in there. I like how you bid for turn order, and you bid for you know what you can do during your turn. Um, as far as um, special actions and things go, it's got a little bit of um, warfare, and it's got a lot of politics. It's just it got a little bit of everything in it, and I really enjoy. And it's space themed. It is, it's, yeah. Like. Science fiction themes are always yeah. a hit with me. I love science. I love sci-fi themes, big space opera things like that. Yeah. But you're right. It is a long game, and it and it does take quite a while. Okay, and that is your number uh, seven. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, Twilight Imperium. Okay, so let's go ahead now and do our number six. Why don't you start with uh, number six? Um, um, well, I already said, I already said the DC. But that was that was probably where Marvel would have gone earlier, and then right. DC would go now. So DC, but then we can interchange it with Marvel, legendary deck builder game. So you're saying you're saying Marvel for number six? Well, no, or? DC for number six, but Marvel at number ten or whatever. Oh, okay, right, right. whatever. It doesn't really matter because I obviously don't really care <laughs> order. But uh, um, yeah, the Marvel will bring up legendary. So, so uh, okay, I'm sorry. So what is number six? Is it DC or, or Marvel? Um, DC. Okay, very good. Yeah. DC game. And we sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the DC game again. We discussed it. It's a good game, portable game, fun right. game, solid right. game. All right. But we can talk about Marvel because I, you know. All right. Well, let's talk about Marvel. What do you like about Marvel? Well, I like its um, deck builder. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like how you can um, you pick your teams and then you pick the members of your team, or which are going to be the cards that you will use with their attacks, and you have to plan your the picking of your team with. Um, Coordinate that with the weaknesses of the enemy, um, and if you don't, you can get screwed. And it's fun; it just takes a lot. It's a cooperative. It, yeah, a lot, again, a lot of setup with that. Right, game. a lot of setup, a lot of takedown with that. A game. lot of uh, you have to really be into it. It's, like whereas DC, well, you can just kind of play those cards at the mm -hmm. end of the game. Right. It's a little fiddly. It's it's a fun game, but it's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. Once you get, it's and, a fun and each, game. You have an objective you have to complete versus right. just. Knocking down because I because I think uh, legendary was my <clears throat> uh, I put legendary and legendary villains as my number uh, fifteen, and then I had I my. We're only going to ten. Uh, we are. <laughs> this is just this is just where I place. He's done this. Yeah, this right. is my these are my top hundred games, right? And uh, so the the legendary is my number fifteen. I put the DC games at uh, number fifty one. All right. Well, good so, that's kind of how I yeah, did that. He's much more thorough. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I that even played a hundred games. <laughs> I know, I know. So. I had to scrape to come up with these. <laughs> so uh, my number six is a game that I played a couple times a while back with Sean, um, which I love, and that is Space Empires 4X. 
Space Empires 4X. Oh, was that the one we just played at the, the restaurant? No, no, no. Oh, no. Space Empires 4X, we played um, year, a few years ago. Uh, I played with you a few years ago. I played it since. But it's a game of, uh, it's a war game in space, but it's one where you got the little chits, and you turn them upside down so you don't know how many oh, ships are there. Yeah, and you're trying yeah, to attack. Yeah. It's a GMT game, and it's it's so much fun. It's a, it's a 4X game, but it's but it's um, a war game. And it's hard. It's a war game. Yeah. Right? So, and I really got a kick out of that. I really enjoy uh, Space Empires 4X. Probably my favorite game from GMT games. Yeah. Really love that game. Uh, all, right. all right. What is your number six? Uh, my, mine is uh, Norath. Conquest of Nerath. Conquest, Conquest of Nerath, yeah. I like that because it, it combines the uh, um, exciting theme of uh, the Dungeons and Dragons universe without the nerdiness of uh, pretending like you're a thief. <laughs> you know? So, you know, you get to enjoy, you, you know. You dress like, up in your LARP clothes. I you, will not. You know. I, you know, I've, uh, I've moved on from that stage in my life. And so I, I like it because it brings me back to that. It's, it's such a fun universe to play in. But you don't. Yeah. Have, it's not as. Uh, well, it, you know, it, it feels like you're playing a board game. You're not playing an RPG. Not playing right, a board you know, game. You're playing you're a board game. You're using the cool units. Yeah, you're yeah. Not pretending yeah. you're a barbarian yeah. and or something. You just get into it. It's a it's a fun war game, and I and I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now uh, our number five. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll start with number five. Number five is a game I love a lot. It's a game that we reviewed uh, during the, uh, I think it was episode number six of The Discriminating Gamer. It's a game that you did not care for the one no. time you played it. No. And that is Fury of Dracula. It's a piece of crap game. <laughs> you played it <laughs> once, you gotta give it a chance. <laughs> It is so much fun. You gotta play it right, though. If Dracula yeah. just runs, it's not fun for anybody. Dracula has to be proactive. He has to yeah. be aggressive, and that makes it fun. And that makes it a very fun game. So, but but I love it. It's a game where you're running around Europe. You're trying to to, to you know mature these vampire brides. You're trying to kill the hunters, and the hunters are trying to hunt you down. It's a lot like Scotland Yard, mm -hmm. uh, other other hidden movement games like that. So I really yeah. really like. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too. That's I cool, really man. Like Fury of Dracula. And Sean doesn't like it, but that's okay. I, I think that one sure time we, we played like it, you just ran play. away from us the whole time. Well, and that was like, the first time we played it, time. so we didn't know. Right, right, right. And you just drove back from Las well, Vegas. To be so. fair, there was a game I, we played where they found Dracula arrive, and I was stuck on the other side of the board, and I didn't even get over there by the time they right. they already killed him. Right. So you know that wasn't the best experience, but I didn't write the game off just for that. So. I do. I, that's what I do, though. You just write things. I off. Meet, that's how I treated. That's how I treated my ex-wife. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I treated, uh, you're, just, you're, not, you're dead to me. Fear of Dracula is dead to me. Totally understandable, and All I'm right. not judging. All right, so uh, number uh, five. Oh, for me? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, well, let's see, picking from my list, let's say... Uh, uh, game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a board game. A board game, which I've only played once, but I really liked it, and I would like to play again, but you guys set up a game, and I wasn't able to come. And yeah, we played we played that game uh, with Stan here. Stan's behind the camera. Hi, Stan. Right. Hey, Stan. Uh, so yeah, we played that game. That was great. And that was another one we reviewed in the Discriminating Gamer episode uh, twelve. Okay. Uh, and you played Game of Thrones. Yes. And that's just that's it's a fun game. It's like it's a lot like fun. diplomacy, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a little bit more meat to it. It's a shorter game. Yeah. Diplomacy is. Yeah. But it's, but it's a lot of fun. There's a lot more uh, chance and like randomness. In it uh, there is some randomness with the way the cards come well, up. Well, it does yeah. have that backbiting element. Uh, the the chance for you know someone not necessarily doing what they say they're going to do to help you out That's or backstab right, you, know, right, right. you whatever and which huh. is always good right games right, right right okay so that is your number five sure okay <laughs> what is your number five uh, for the crown for the crown for second the crown. edition I love it well I'll, yeah second edition I love it because I've always <laughs> liked chess but I you know you, I played it so much and so it combines that kind of fun of a chess game mm -hmm. uh, but. But you get to it just expands on it. It Makes really it does. It, it more deep. It, uh, yeah, you played for the crown. I did. Yeah, I remember and getting I, my butt yeah. kicked <laughs> several times. I uh, for the crown is my number forty six. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. There's other games I like better, but I do sure. like for the crown a lot. Sure. I like it is. It's it's because it, it's a deck builder and it's well, a chess it's a game. deck builder and it's a chess game. And every time we played it, depending on what cards you choose, it's like a totally different game. That's true. That yeah, is true. So I like the variety. For, There's variety. I like the variety. A lot of variety. Yeah. yeah. That's a great game. And that is another one that we, we reviewed in The Discriminating Gamer. That was episode uh, 7, I believe, of The Discriminating yeah. Gamer. Okay, so now we are down to number 4. Um, Sean, why don't you go ahead and start us All with right. number 4. Number 4. My number 4... Uh, Favorite game is Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Okay. That's number four. I thought that was gonna be higher for you. Oh, wow. okay. Number four. I got a good top. Four. I like my top five. Okay, all right, gonna, all right, gonna, all right, all right. But I love it once again. It's another game that uh, that creates tension and fighting. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I, I like hidden traders, and that's that is. It's a tense game, and we reviewed that episode too. It's got a great theme, and it's 
very, you know, on it's a it's a little bit longer game. game. So the one thing I, I don't like about it, yeah, is you can spend an hour <laughs> and, and get crushed. <laughs> like, I've dedicated my like an hour into this game, and suddenly it's just crushed. But you have to. But you have to. You know what's cool about those kinds of games? But there are those moments where you have to make a decision. Am I going to trust this guy? Yeah. And and it's funny how much that sucks you in and how much you are invested into that one those those moments yeah. where you say, I have to make a decision. I have to trust someone. And that's the right. game. That's the it whole is. It is. It is. But it's like you know what? It's like I, I lost food, but I still have people. You should be able to eat those people. I think. <laughs> I think there are ways you can still should be able to keep going. That's you know, that's true. Of, that's true. Well, I, that is a game I hardly endorse. That is your number four. Number four. Number four. Battlestar Galactica. Uh, all right, there, uh, Justin. Uh, what are we going to call your number four? Uh, tw- uh, Twilight Struggle. Twilight Struggle. Yeah. Twilight Struggle. Oh, that's a great game. Yeah, Twilight it's Struggle. A good game. game. I didn't even have that on my top. Unfortunately, it's only for it's only a two player. It's only a two player game. Yeah. But it is very, very solid. Um, Good, great game. Yeah, I, I, I kind of tied Twilight Struggle in 1989 because they're kind of the same game, and I put them at number uh, 16 on my list. But they are. It is. It's a great card-driven game. It's a great theme set mm-hmm. in the Cold War. That was our number one episode. Our first yes, episode was, was on Twilight Struggle. And that is just a brilliant game. It is so much fun. It's so tense. A lot of strategy and yeah. a lot of... Because because you play you have to play cards and you're, you're unwittingly helping your opponent throughout mm-hmm. that game and it's, it's it's very frustrating it is very frustrating it's probably the best two player game I've ever played yeah yeah, really yeah. that may be that probably the best. well that may be true um, okay so now it is my number four and I'm gonna pick something that uh, Justin just mentioned a moment ago and that is a Game of Thrones the board game. Uh, I, I love it. It is. It, 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 again, it, it's a game of personalities in a different way than like Battlestar Galactica. But you really have to decide who's going to help me, who's going to betray me, and how, how do you work with those people. And at the same time, accomplish your goals. Because you know sooner or later, you're going to be at odds with people. Mm-hmm. And, and how can you, in the, in, the, in the beginning of the game, make yourself strong enough that by the time the end game rolls around, you don't need as many people's right. help, you know? Yeah, and that's the beauty of that game is it is very <clears throat> dependent on... Those relationships of the who's, who can I trust and who's going to betray me, and because it's not a matter of uh, if it's a matter of when, because yeah. everyone yeah. has their own goals that they need to accomplish to win the game, and uh, yeah, it's just a matter of time before somebody stabs you in the back, which is great. It is. It's it done. is. It's amazing. Love that game. Love that game. So that's my number four. Okay, you can feel it right here. <laughs> My number three, I'm going to go ahead and start here. Uh, my number three favorite game of all time is Star Wars X-Wing. Star Wars X-Wing. Do you not like that game? No, it's not my favorite, it's but this guy, like... I love it. Loves it. I love it. I just like the little it. miniatures. Ooh, look at all my I love them. I love them. They are beautiful. They're great models. They're great models. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's, it's what it is. It's got a lot of... I think it's got a lot of variety with the cards and how you select the cards, <laughs> how you play the cards... It's just a fun uh, two-player kind of uh, tactical tabletop game, and I enjoy it quite a bit. I think it's although I, we have played it. Have you you played it with more than two people? Oh yeah, we played it with with teams. See, I think the team it's, game is a little more fun for do me. Do you like it? Is that better? Well, yeah. okay, fair enough. Maybe because I'm not as tactically sound as you are. In <laughs> The different well, you know, you know what I like about that game though too is there again. There's a level of personality. What maneuvers are they going to pick? Right. And how am I going to counter that? You know, and you're right. so yeah. you're kind of think what how are they going to try to get out of this? And I, to me, that's that's a, a big part of why I like the game. It's too. not a bad game. Don't get me wrong. It's just not no, my I, favorite. Okay. Game. And I, I think I agree. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's a great game. I always liked it. I think the models are beautiful. But for some reason, I don't get like. Yeah, it doesn't, okay. it. Yeah. it doesn't pull me in. Fair enough. Yeah. But that is my number three. Uh, what are you going to say is your number three? Uh, my number three game is, uh, it's just an oldie but a goodie. It's Diplomacy. Diplomacy, wow. Oh, I love Diplomacy. Never you know, I, It is the <laughs> ultimate, like, get pissed at everybody around you I, game. It's the I, ultimate fighting. I got to tell you, so probably nearly 20 years ago, Sean and his brother Zach are playing a game of Diplomacy oh, yeah. with me. And they had the biggest fight they have ever had in their relationship. Oh, we almost it almost came to blows. We almost oh, did, I thought you did get in a fist fight. No, we didn't get in a fist okay, fight. We almost right. did, man. I thought he was gonna punch me. <laughs> but oh my gosh, man, I to hear him say it, he thought fight. he thought you were gonna punch him. I wanted to. I was so pissed. <laughs> because I was, so I was winning every pissed. game we were playing, so they ganged up on me and I was able to convince Zach to help me out. Yeah, and the and the end, I was like, Why you, I didn't even care who lost as long as it was as long as Cody lost. I didn't care who won, I just wanted Cody and and he inadvertently kind of got this like small like BS victory. Well, I had I had all of Italy, so I said to yeah. Zach, I said, "Hey, if he was Austria, take Italy and let's be friends." 
Okay. And he, he won the game, which is what you're game. supposed to do. Then we always did these stupid little trees. <laughs> like, as the winner of the game, I will say my co-winner is Cody. <laughs> yeah. And that was the whole thing. Yeah, oh, I hated that. But it was, you know what? Games that create passion yeah. are the games. I and that game creates so much passion. It does. It absolutely so does. Much. See, and I, and I like that game a lot. And that's on my list. I can't remember where I put that on my list right now. But um, I like that game a lot. But to me, it's been superseded by some other games, like a Game of Thrones, the board game. See, I, I enjoyed sure. Game of Thrones, the board game, because I get that same kind of feeling of betrayal. Yeah, it's not about going to the private rooms. Well, that's true. The negotiation the is negotiation fun. The negotiation is, there's nothing like, I, there's not another game that creates that kind of well, thing. Well, maybe right. It's a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Good game. Uh, yeah. Diplomacy, yeah. Uh, what is your, what are we going to call your number three? Number three. My number three is pretty solid at uh, Shadows Over Camelot. Shadows Over Camelot! Great right. game. Great game. You have, you, about betrayal. I've never played you it. Would like, this is another game like Battlestar, like yeah. Resident Avalon, it's very fun. where you have a traitor. And it's it's King Arthur uh, like like Avalon is, but yeah. it's a great. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just. It's just a, we're talking about betrayal and then that kind of stuff. That yeah. kind of uh, theme, the the hidden traitor stuff. This game is is very, very indicative of, of that. I mean, that's the whole point. You have somebody playing against everybody from the start of the game. Something about and you the, don't know who who it is. Like you, you got know. like all these different personalities around the table, and mm-hmm. it's just everybody's trying to kind of manipulate everybody. Right, else. right, right. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, really, it's a game of charisma. Yeah, it's my, that was not my number 18, but I really liked it a lot. Uh, I'd like to play it. it we will. We'll, we'll definitely yeah, hit that one. That's it's a great a game. One. And, and I, I actually, actually just it. got the expansion to it, the Merlin's Company. I haven't oh, played really? it yet, but yeah, yeah we've got to hit that. Yeah, we'll have to check that out, because it's, it's solid. I didn't think I would like it, because, you know, the King Arthur theme, but, <laughs> but the mechanics are, are very fun. Just, just primo. Yeah. Really good very, stuff. Very, very good party game. You get people that you're friends with and, and just go yep. at each other. Yeah, it's great. yeah, you'll laugh at that game. You'll laugh at that game. Okay, so um, we are at our number two. So, Sean, why don't we start with you? Uh, I'm going to uh, Twilight Struggle. Twilight Struggle. Like I said, it's the best two-player game I've ever played in my entire life. Okay. Mm-hmm. But we, were you going to say something else? No. Okay. All right. All right. No, I wasn't going to say something. <laughs> okay, yeah. The yeah. Twilight Struggle. Oh, Brilliant yeah. game. It's Brilliant game. game. Cold War. And we played 1989 together. Same too. same difference. Yeah. I, w- I would agree. I mean, I think they're almost interchangeable in the, a lot of ways. Well, yeah, like I said, I tied them on my list. Yeah. The combat's a little different, and I like that in 1989, but but, but I think I may like the theme a little bit more in Twilight Struggle. Yeah, but like every aspect of the space race is cool. The I mean, every the, part yeah, of that the, game is the, cool. The... Yeah. Uh, yeah. the uh, the, the, the nuclear, nuclear war. war. I lost the game once with Jason because I, I lost it because I triggered a nuclear war. Yeah, there's so many. The thing that's so tough about that game is like you you, you, you have ground over here. Yeah. But in order to win over here, you have to lose over I there. Know, I know. I like, know. What do I give it, up? It's in order very to win? very thematic as far as you know. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's everything. It's, it's very. very it great. is. Twilight Struggle is yeah. a fantastic game. What, what's uh, what's uh, well, I'll, I'll do mine. Uh, my number two is Battlestar Galactica. Uh, that's where I put it. That is my second favorite game. I love Battlestar Galactica yeah. because of everything we just it said, is. that hidden traitor aspect. But but in addition to the hidden traitor aspect, like Shadows, like Resistance, the thing I like about, about Battlestar Galactica is I freaking loved the TV show. And that is yeah. Battlestar Galactica in a box. That game, I mean, that is one of the games that just nails the, the, the feelings and emotions of the TV show yep. in a board game. And it does it so well. Every way, yeah. It does. Yeah, like I played, uh, you know, uh, Simpsons Monopoly. It didn't feel like Simpsons <laughs> at all. I like playing this. Like, this does. This is not bringing. I'm not feeling like it a Simpsons episode. <laughs> I know. I know. I played that. I'm like, mean. I might as well be in the brig right, right now. I, I, I played. I played Sean the douchebag game. <laughs> Nailed it. You should be like, I like sitting right next to Sean, and he's a total douchebag right now. Man, that game really thematically. <laughs> It's like getting punched in the crotch by Sean. Every yeah, time you yeah, open it, it up, you look at the rules, yeah. and it's getting like, Getting oh. punched in the crotch by Sean. Yeah, wow. All right, so uh, uh, what is your number two? My number two is several. It's uh, Cordier slash Dominaire slash Canalis. The slash, Tempest series. Yeah, the Tempest series. I really enjoy that. Right, you're, you're so lumping work, all those in there together. Worker what, placement. Can I ask, can I ask what, do you, what would you say is your favorite out of the Tempest oh, series? Oh, probably Cordier. It's the really? one I'm most familiar with, and yeah, I just like it. I like it. It's the backstabbing aspect yeah, again. Is that you're trying to fill petitions and uh, all right. You say that uh, uh, Cordier is your favorite of them. Of the yeah, but, but, okay. well, I like all of them, but mm-hmm. if I had to pick one, I think Cordier see. And I think I think I like Dominaire better than Cordier. Yeah, you've said that. I, yeah, yeah, I remember. And I think I, I like them. I like they're good as games. well. They're but, good games. Yeah. yeah, but they are fun. They're, it's, it's a fun uh, series. Love Letters part of that series too. Yep, it's, a, it's a fun series. It's it's. Um, 
uh, they're all good games in their own way, and they're all unique. Mm-hmm. You know, they have different designers for the most part, and and they're all very unique games. But I like the fact that because it's a Tempest series, you can play one game and be instantly familiar with the other games in the series yeah. because they use the same characters and the same little factions work pretty much the same in each game, and it's just a, it's just they're great. solid. They're yeah. all fun. Very games. solid. Uh, you know, yeah, some are better than others in my opinion, but but they're all good games. Yeah. They're all good. You'll really, always enjoy your experience. Courtier, Mercante, Dominaire, Canalis. And, and then Love, Love Letter. Letter, and then I think I think they're coming out with another one here uh, before too long. Yeah. They're all amazing games. Yeah, I really enjoyed that series. Okay, so actually, why don't you go ahead and, and uh, with our number ones? My number start? one is Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. You guys are punks. That game is <laughs> the game's great. The game. best game. Yeah, it is. It's great. It is for everything we've. Yeah, it's fun. it's a great. Every time you get together and play that game, you have fun. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. You guarantee you're going to have a good fun. time every yeah. time you play. Even if you get thrown in the brig the whole game because somebody <laughs> accuses you of being a Cylon. <laughs> When they're really the Cylon and no one else is listening to you, it's just still fun. Oh, that, was, yeah. that was my was my favorite yeah, game. It, was great. It, it sucked because you're sitting there the whole time and you couldn't do anything and you're screaming these Cylon and, and I'm just sitting there, guys. We got to keep him in the brick. We got to keep him in the brick. <laughs> it was it's, great. It's, oh, that g- you can't you can't buy that kind of stuff. It's just great. It is. It is. It's it's. It, it, Really a great game, really great game. Uh, Sean, let's go ahead and hear your number one. My number one game is Zombicide. Really? Zombicide is wow. my favorite game. Number one? I know, it's number one, you know, because I said it, it's thematically. Right. It makes you feel like you're in a zombie apocalypse. Right, right. You know, it, it, it's a game of, uh, of charisma and personalities. Yeah. Where you, you're you constantly negotiating with everybody else on the board as to, as to how you're going to come up with right, a strategy, right. you know. Yeah, that's 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 true. It's not like not it. like a backstabbing personality. No, but no, still no. Person, but yeah. it still requires you. You still have to it's, try to convince people and, the and, best way to do and, something. And I'll tell you, because that was my number 14. Zombicide was my number 14. Yeah. And the reason I like Zombicide is because to me, and I played a lot of zombie games, yeah. and no zombie game I've played better simulates what you think it would be like to be in a zombie yeah, apocalypse. That's because what I think. because the pressure is on. You it start is. out as just a small trickle of zombies, as you play more and more, right, it's true. a stampede, it's a horde. And it it really gets intense as wow, you're as you're yeah. tr- seeing well, if you can survive and it. And not only that, but it's, uh, the game the game makers on that one are constantly shaking it up and making it new and diverse with true. constant add-ons. Yeah, and they're the constantly the yeah. expanding and, the and, and they're constantly stuff. and every yeah. time you play you can choose a different scenario. It's different every yeah, time. That's the thing I was saying. There's also of tons of characters to choose from. Tons yeah, of especially characters. when you get the expansions. We did get yeah, because because the the uh, I kick started season two and they just sent me a ton of stuff. I don't even think I even pledged for. They just sent me a ton of stuff anyway. <laughs> It was great stuff. And all the miniatures are, are great. The miniatures too, are cool. Yeah. So I think production-wise, it's great. Thematically, it's great. Mechanic-wise, it's great. I think it's just across it's the board. It's a fun game. It's just it's very fun. Solid, very i got to tell you, I, I like that game a lot. There are other games I like better, but sure. I do like Zombicide sure. quite a bit. Yeah. All right, so now for my number one game of all time. This is something we've all been waiting for eagerly for <laughs> months. There's been speculation in the British tabloids about what Cody was going to pick. I was, I was listening to the radio the other day. Yeah, and they're like, hey, what is going to be Cody's number I know. one game? It's and been on everybody's list. They didn't know. They couldn't guess. They couldn't <laughs> guess. Um, I got to tell you, this is a game that one of you guys has already mentioned. Yes. Any guesses? Twilight Imperium. Twilight Imperium. Twilight, Twilight Imperium. Imperium. I loves me some Twilight Imperium. Yeah. I, it's um, it's this grand space opera. We love sci-fi epic, games. And I love sci-fi games. Yeah. And it's just got everything. It's got tech. It's got e- economics. It's got trade. It's got politics. You got to vote for stuff. You, you're conquering worlds. Um, but but then there's just all these random things. That last game we played, where I took over Mechatol Rex, and then he pulls out this, this this political card saying we're voting to destroy all the all the military units on Mechatol Rex, and I'm pleading with the guys, don't vote for this, don't vote for this, don't vote for this. And uh, I was able to convince him not to. <laughs> but it was fun. such BS. <laughs> it was funny because he, he kind of got screwed in his location of his home planet. Kind of. And, and he couldn't really do much. And I'm like really kind. Like a barrier of like yeah. asteroids around. Yeah, the, um, that's one thing I have a problem with that game is the, the little placement of the tiles because, yeah, I don't It can be know. funky at times. Yeah. But, but I was kind to him and I wasn't invading him. And then as soon as he gets a chance to screw me politically, I was kind. he tries. He was kind. <laughs> But it's a great game. Anyway, I Twilight Imperium 3 happens. is a fan. No, it's it's cool. It's cool. And it's a it's a great game. Really super enjoy Twilight Imperium. So I gotta tell you something. My top ten list of all time, one thing that I learned out of my top ten list of all time is that um, six of the games on my list and all of the top five are fantasy flight games. 
and I didn't intend that. The Fantasy what? Flight Games who's dominates my top ten list. Up. No, it's Fantasy just, Flight. it's just. I, I realized that when I wrote the, uh, when I came up with my, my list here, I thought, you know, uh, I knew that a lot of these were going to be really high up. I didn't realize they were all going to be this high up. Mm-hmm. So that just, that really kind of thrilled me. But again, I, well, I picked my games by saying, which games do I have more fun playing? And I looked at each one. And that just blew me away. So anyway, this has been uh, R3 Top 10 Games of All Time. This is the final episode of my Top 100 list. Thank you so much for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. Please, please, please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Or Sean will come to your house and cause all sorts of problems with your dog. He will. Mm-hmm. He likes dogs. Okay. Now everybody... Too much. Everybody, everybody Too wave much. goodbye. Too wave goodbye to the people. Bye. See you next season. <laughs> Somebody help me on my feet again And I don't know where I'm going Start repeating again And these games oh, I was that That's fine, just repeat And these games, and these games that, you'll play that you play Are the best, are the best So he says, so he says to, be viewed to be viewed On YouTube, on YouTube Are the top are one the top Repeat one. that part I'm sorry. Top 100 top games there's a guy who likes games, and the best that he's played are the ones that just made you be viewed on YouTube, and the games that he plays are the best that he says on the top 100 the top 100. I thought it was around. It's supposed to be. Thanks. Thanks. My male litter bride, Bibbidi Boop, arrives today. Bibbidi Shoot, they're proved to my parents, Bibbidi Deep, that I'm not gay. Bibbidi Boop, she gets at the plane.